Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I am just hopping on for a quick 15 minute ephemera slash stasher style video. Uh, as I have organized and uh, <clears throat> have a pretty solid plan for the new year, I want, I have got things in um, my on deck uh, pile or a little container that I need to get through. And this was one of those things. So if you have old books, like I did, that I, you know, these, we you've seen me use these pages many times to make tags and to make, <coughs> excuse me, um, journal cards and such. So when I've got a book that just doesn't warrant, it's just too fragile, to turn into, like, see, I had two of these hideaway animals. And you can tell one was much older than the other one. But <clears throat> the pages were just too much, too damaged. The covers were not good. And so uh, this is one of those what I call cutters. And I have to admit, in the past, sometimes I will chuck the covers. But ever since I did that stacked journal... Um, I've kind of rethought things. So I had, okay, this was C, for example. This just does not look good, right? Because it's got, like, what do you call this stuff? Uh, duct tape. But you can't even, like, it's, it's bad. And, you, you know, this particular cover it really wasn't. I mean, I guess I could have cut around it. But I thought, you know, I'm going to try to do something with this back cover. Um, these are Junior Elf books. So this would have went like this. And we're going to try to make some tags out of it. Now, I did such the same thing with the, what was the cowboy, or runaway kangaroos. So I have all the pages for this, but this is just, I need to back it, but I left it so you guys can see it. And I may sew this too. But all I did was just um, <clears throat> cut this down. This was the back cover, the image that was on it. And then just added a little uh, cluster on the top. Uh, this one was a little golden book. It was called A Year in the City. And it was in very similar shape to the one that I've got here. It was, you know, taped with something and it wasn't good. But look at the back. It's, I'm going to leave this one just like it is. Um... Should we try to get, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. It just is kind of what it is, but we'll, we'll attempt it. So I wanted to, to just hop on and show you how I do them. It's super quick. It's super easy. Uh, I have these two little images that I wasn't planning on, you know, really decorating these much, but I think we might be able to incorporate those. Uh, this one, oh, this is just, this is just an example of what I do with some of those cards. So this I made into a journal card and this bunny, I just used, um, foam, uh, tape to make it kind of pop a little bit and added a couple little butterflies. Kind of cute. <clears throat> and then this last one is, was alphabet from A to Z. I loved the image, another little golden book. Um, I was going to see if I could get do I have an eraser handy? Why do I not have a good eraser in here? Oh, here it is. I do. Let's just see if GEG -E comes off here. Well, she certainly does. I mean, we still might be able to see a little bit of it. This is a Factus Tri-42. It's an artist's eraser, but they work really well. I mean, I'm not going to get all of that off, but we'll get some of it off. There we go. And for these, the ones with the cover, uh, I am not going to do anything with. It's just what it is. And I like that. I like that thick um, look to them. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just cut this down to a manageable size. And I can't use that, I don't think. Well, I'm not going to try it because I'm 
very excited about that. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's so crunchy. Yeah, that'd be interesting when I put something on it. I may put some uh, gesso on it just to... Whoa. Okay. We're okay. So that when I put a backing to it, it will be okay. All right. All right, let's make sure you guys can see this. I am just going to try to take off. Now, I could just leave. I guess I could just leave this like this. Why not? Let's just do it. I was working on a journal, on the Tea Time Journal. Uh, and I needed some huge tags. So I need to get better at making larger tags. And I can't wait to show you that journal. It's 99% done. I have to do it. There's two pages that needed my attention. And of course, I even made it so it wouldn't be an exploding journal, which... I kind of like making, um, but after I got all the stuff in it, I'm just cutting this with my scissors now, but after I started adding all the stuff to the pages, and I only had, I think, 20, no, maybe 30 pages, and the whole thing, yep, and it's a binder journal, she's a big one, but that's okay, she's cute, and that was the one that I've had. I started and I had all kinds of different projects that just got in the way of me doing that. Oh, for goodness sakes, I used the wrong one. <laughs> no, I didn't. Why does it look so... Well, that's weird. I must have just not got it. Let's just cut it off and see. Um... I guess it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it didn't look okay. But things kept getting in the way and I wasn't able to get it done. So. All right. Now I was thinking possibly. Again, I'm going to have to probably use some gesso just to even that out a little bit. And so things will adhere to it. I'm guessing. What happened to that little girl? Will she work? losing the mouse. She looks funny up there like she's just flying about. I mean, she doesn't look horrible there, but she doesn't look great. Maybe I won't do anything with that one right now, but let's put a hole in it. And I like to use my Euro punch, which that's what this one is called. That kind of punch is called a Euro punch. This is my. Let me see. There we go. We lost a little bit of the. So now all I need to do is add a ribbon, right? Okay. Let's see about this one. Now this one I thought I was going to cut off too. This is all going to be covered. Although, you know, I could probably put like a ribbon or something on here and just leave this as a tag. I might do that. I may, I may. Okay. I think that was my problem last time. This, I think this blade needs to be changed. You guys have heard me talk about this thing a million times. I think it's on my Amazon list. I love, love, love it. It's called a Tough Built um, Utility Knife and Scraper. So you can turn it like that to ch -ch things. 
and then you can turn it that way to do this. And see, I can see a little nick in it. Let's, let's see if I can... You know what I need to do when I when I change this is I need to write something on it so that I know if the when I flip it the other way if that side has been used or not. Let's see. Well, we will see. Yeah, see. Definitely. That was a new one. Okay. All right, let's punch you and see if Mr. Cow will fit or the little girl. And, oops, upside down. So the cow, obviously, I've already got, he's already on this one, so I don't want to use him there too. But, We lose the kitty, but that's okay. We still get the little lammy. I like that there. Let's do a little walnut stain here. Just to make him pop. I don't think that's really helping. Hmm. This is very fragile. It's fine. We'll just leave it like it is. Let's not overthink it. Yeah, I'm thinking a little piece of ribbon on the side, on that one side, might might do the trick. Let's see if I have any. Let's bring this back. I think I'm done cutting. Carrie is the best thing ever. No, I probably need to pay attention. I don't know how, it, how and just to make sure that you guys aren't getting any glare. But that's why I loved hers so much. I was like, oh, it looks so good. And I wanted to use it so I could. Trying to get this so we get enough of the puppy, enough of a little, oop, little lammy. And I feel like I'm gonna have to come around with a little art glitter glue here. I do, I do. <clears throat> but this is my effort to not just throw things, I mean, I, I actually am not afraid to throw throw out things. However, the problem is... <coughs> excuse me. The problem is, is that then I throw it out or I donate it or whatever. And then I think, you know, several weeks later, oh, I wish I would have had that. Did I throw that away? Yeah, I think I probably did. <laughs> So instead of just chucking it away or, you know, whatever, I'm trying to, like, use it right when I have it. Now, did I use this right after I tore it apart? No, because it was in my videos I need to do. But you can see, th these make just such nice, they're nice, they're he heavy. I think it's going to be cute. Let's see if I have a... Do I have something? Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, I do. Let's see. Ooh, this. This would be cute on here, wouldn't it? It's a little bit thick. So maybe this thinner one would be better. 
I don't like the colors as well as I like these. But it's awfully thick. The only other one I have is handy. Is a pink or red and pink. Okay, hold on. I have all of this fabric. Hang on. Hmm. This may work. Hang on. Let's just see. I have all of my Carol fabric that she lovingly put together. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Yep. All right, here we go. We're going to make a ruffle. I have a video um, <clears throat> coming out on something related to those soon, so you will see it. I'm just a little out of sorts because I had to chain change up my filming game. So now I don't remember which which videos are coming first, second, third. You know what I mean? Okay. So you may have already seen me do this on another video. This is how you make ruffles if you don't have a sewing machine. Although this fabric is a little more bulky <laughs> than what I used before, but I like it. kind of moving that out just a little bit so we get a little more there we go cute now I think I'm gonna do this though there we go problemo solved so not a long video nothing too intensive but just some ways that you can use both the insides and the covers um, and you know if you have a book that's a cover that's just in really horrible shape both on on either side just cover it all but don't these uh board books and the little golden books are excellent um, for that purpose so i hope this was helpful and as always remember take a little time for you to just be and we will see you soon until then cheers everyone